In this update to the course, I am going to show you how you can upgrade from Rails 4.0 to the latest version. And in the case of this recording, it's Rails 4.2 and the detailed one is 4.26. This is going to break a number of the things in the application. However, that's good because it will give us practice on actually fixing it. And so the first thing we're going to do is save it here and then run bundle. So I'm going to run bundle. And if you're doing this inside of, say, uh, in Nitrous or anything like that, it's the exact same of, as what we're doing right here in, uh, in the local system. It doesn't really matter whether you're doing it uh, on an outside IDE or here. The same principles are still going to apply. So right here, we're and I'm doing all this live, so I've not run through this previously, so some of these errors may take a little while to fix, but that's good because I want to show you how I walk through these. This gives us a pretty descriptive error. It says Bundler could not find compatible versions for active support. Before I do anything, I'm going to come back in here and see what other things we have. Active support comes with Rails. So if we come into our gem lock file, we can see that even though we're trying to pull in Rails 4.2, we have all these things like active supports right here, and it's at the 4.0 version. These are all dependencies that, and you can tell they're dependencies because they're nested. So they're nested here uh, inside the gem. So I'm gonna simply do what it suggests, and I'm gonna run bundle update. So if I run bundle update, it's gonna run through, and this may or may not work. I've had this happen where I've run bundle update and there were still gems that needed to be updated, and so it took a little while to go and fix all of them, but it looks like that worked. So now let's run the Rails server and see if it's working or if it's giving us a few errors. My guess is there's gonna be a few errors and some syntax things we're gonna to have to change. So let me open up the browser and navigate to localhost 3000. And let's see what it's going to do. Okay, this actually worked, so that's good. Now if I come to invoices, this looks like it all worked. And let me create a sample invoice. So I'm going to create one for today for ABC company. Tax rate at 1.4. Don't have any employees or statuses yet. So before I do this, let me open this up come up here and let's create a new employee. So I'm going to say this employee's name is Tiffany and their phone number is this and their job type is they're in operations. Hit create employee. Now if I come back here and hit refresh, I have access to the Tiffany employee and I'm going to come and do exactly what I was going to do before. So ABC company rate of 1.4 and click submit. So this is all good. And now we have everything working. So with pretty minimal changes and only one small bug fix just by running bundle update, we've upgraded our app from Rails 4 to Rails 4.2. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can start adding the ability to edit the purchase items that are nested under an invoice.